suddenly you had music that was rock and roll music that A, yes, you could dance to it, but not only dance it, you could fuck to it. The depression in England was so massive, it led to uh, a feeling that uh, there really wasn't much of a future for us, for us young people. It made us start to think about, well, fuck society and fuck what they're offering. Let's do what we think we, we should do for ourselves. It just made you just want to reach into yourself and do the thing that you love because what was the point? There was nothing else to do. You might as well do whatever it was you dreamed about. And of course, in our case, we loved music. And so we felt like in this void of nothingness, do it yourself in a way, it became the ethic of the time. That was the only way we were ever gonna be able to put out music was if we did it ourselves. And we all wanted something new, something that spoke for us. Cause this music that had been around since the sixties, that really spoke for these people who came before us. But what did it say about us? Where was our music? And that's really why when I saw the Sex Pistols, I really went, there they are, there's a band for us doing it now, getting up on stage and doing it. And it just seemed like the answer, you know. Why not entertain ourselves? Even if nothing happens, even if nothing goes anywhere, even if it all just dies after six months, at least we will have expressed ourselves, at least we would have got off our asses. And it sort of led to this thing called punk rock, because when it started, there wasn't a name for it. We very much saw it as a do-it-yourself ethic, which may not have a future, but as there was no future, what did it really matter? When I became a solo artist, well, it opened the door to where I could do whatever I wanted. But the one thing I felt was the grounding and punk meant I could bring that attitude to whatever I did, and I hoped in a way that would inform the music I did so that it would always have an edge to it. When I started to combine dance music, I started to see, why not have a punk rock attitude, <laughs> but with some electronic music, take the thunder of punk rock, harness that energy, but join it with the sort of techno dance music. We knew there was gonna be this 24 hour music channel. I love that idea because that was something we'd always wished we could have had when we were young. It meant too you could explore other artistic values you had. It wasn't all just about music. So for me, something like MTV, which would combine visuals with music, was a great idea, beautiful. I was always very interested in uh, the romantic poets like Coleridge and Wordsworth, and um, Coleridge in particular espoused using drugs and things to uh, move beyond this world, kind of expand your vision of things and then pour that into your art. And Jim Morrison was very like that, a kind of living this accelerated life, trying to break through some sort of boundary between this world and the sort of world beyond us. There's a total downside to it, and we ran into that, believe you me, but it's not so bad to uh, throw yourself at a brick wall and bounce off it and see what's left and pull that together. <laughs> I've never really completely succumbed to drug addiction and I'm sure partly it's because there's people around me in my life who seriously care about me and who love me and things and that means I can't completely not love myself. It's such a beautiful idea to try and write a book because I so love reading books. Part of punk rock was that you could embrace everything. You weren't just a musician, you were multidimensional and if writing this book even helps to sort of show that that punk rock wasn't just about music, wasn't just about trying to be a big rock star or something. No, we were seriously trying to create our art, become something as a person, evolve yourself. And uh, maybe something about writing this book was me evolving and trying to show you the true me. There's sides to this that you won't get from a song. It's different thinking about your past and marinating it and then drawing it out of yourself. It's very strange, it's just, when people talk about it being a cathartic experience, well it is, I mean it's, it's exciting, it's scary, it's weird, it makes you sick, you want to throw up, you're elated, it's kind of like, wow, it's almost like the biggest drug. If I can't take drugs, I can write a book and get as high as a kite. <laughs>